What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video and if you are watching this you already know what had happened yesterday. If you don't, go over to Undisputed Brotherhood's channel right now. There was a live draft yesterday between me and him, MDT versus UWF for his 10k special. Again, congratulations to TJ for hitting that milestone. But Today we have part two of the draft. This is where all the judging comes in from you guys. We have three Legends rounds first. Um, this is a continuation of the draft yesterday. We're going to do three Legends rounds, and then we're going to show you our match cards. It's going to be like a WrestleMania match card, and you're going to tell us who had the better draft and who had the better WrestleMania card all together, and we're going to have you vote down in the comment section below. But to start off this Legends rounds, I'm going to kick it over to TJ. Thank you very much, Trey, for that wonderful intro. Like he said, we are doing part two of the draft. Make sure you check out part one over on my channel. But we're going to not waste any time and get right into our three legend picks. And my first legends pick is going to be none other than, well, many considered to be the greatest superstar of all time, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. A very much legend indeed. I actually may be meeting HBK this weekend, or not this weekend, but next weekend. Very, very excited. He is an amazing guy and an amazing wrestler at that. Wish he could step into the ring again. But since you drafted who you say may be the greatest of all time, I'm going to take who I think is the best overall, my unbiased opinion, the greatest wrestler to ever step in the ring. That is going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Very nice pick. Stone Cold is definitely one of the greatest superstars of all time. But personally, I think this guy is a lot better. And I really hope he has one more match at WrestleMania this year. And that is none other than the dead man, Mark Calloway, Undertaker. Very good pick indeed. Can't go wrong with The Undertaker, but you may have the dead man, Brad. But I am going to take an Olympic gold medalist. One of my favorite of all time, Kurt Angle with my next pick. Very nice pick. If I did have the entrance grades, he certainly would have been on my list for Legend Superstars. But I know this guy was probably your next pick. One of your favorite wrestlers of all time, Edge. Ah, he took the first ever MDT champion edge away from me, but I guess I will have to move on and go with one of my other favorite wrestlers of all time growing up. Very sad situation, just an awful tragedy, but still, we're ignoring all that for this video. It's just, you know, this is all fantasy and stuff, and he is just one of the greater performers. If you ignore all his personal business, this is one of the greatest in-ring performers of all time, and that has got to be Chris Benoit. Alright guys, so now that we are done making our picks, I'm going to give you a quick overview of my roster here. You can see some of the main guys in the center, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, CM Punk, Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe, Daniel Bryan, Braun Strowman, lots of amazing talent on this roster. I'm going to send it over to MDT and uh, he's going to do his roster real quick and then we're going to get right into our fantasy card. Alright guys, now that you have seen TJ's roster, here is mine. We got Kenny Omega, Finn Balor, Stone Cold, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, Shinsuke, Jeff Hardy, RVD, Young Bucks, Revival, Usos, we could go on and on, Aleister Black. Um, I think both rosters are totally loaded. If this were the real brands going head-to-head, -head, I don't think wrestling would have any problems as long as Vince McMahon was not the head of it. I think that it would be in very good hands, um, you know, running forward with programs. I think that there would never be a terrible episode of Raw or SmackDown if these were the rosters. But now that we have covered these things, guys, let's get into our cards. Kicking things off on my match card, what a better way to start WrestleMania than a ladder match. We've got a seven-man Money in the Bank ladder match. The participants are Apollo Crews, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, The Miz, Sheamus, Trash Corbin, Rusev, and the winner, Luke Harper. I'd really love to see Luke Harper get a push, and what a better way than giving him the Money in the Bank briefcase. All right, guys, for my first feud, I would have sort of a David versus Goliath type matchup right here. I would have the small AF Rey Mysterio take on the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. I wish I had somewhere else to put um, Brock Lesnar just because he was my fourth pick overall. But with everything else that I drafted, I just felt this was the best spot for him. Also for Rey Mysterio, I just think this would be a really cool, interesting matchup to see if Rey Mysterio could, in fact, conquer the Beast. I think I would have Brock Lesnar winning here just to keep wrestling believable. I just do not see how Rey would um, overcome it unless I had months and months to book this thing. I think I could have booked Rey Mysterio to be, you know, the ultimate underdog and somehow have him have you know, a WrestleMania moment where he could conquer the beast. But other than that, I think Brock Lesnar would easily take care of Rey Mysterio. 
My next matchup would be a hard core matchup between the Rated R Superstar Edge and the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. I think these two would have had amazing matches back in the day. Two very hardcore superstars. We get all sorts of insane spots in here, whether it be with ladders, chairs, kendo sticks, tables, whatever. It would probably end with some insane either flaming table or thumbtack spot. All I know is this match would be insane. As for who would win this match, it's gotta be Edge. I just cannot see Dean Ambrose going over the Rated R Superstar. My next matchup is very interesting. I have a six-man tag team match right here between the Young Bucks and Marty Skrull taking on Randy Orton and the new legacy right here. I have Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes joining Randy Orton to form a new faction. Um, I guess you could say that uh, Cody Rhodes ditched the Bullet Club. He'll turn on the Bucks and Skrull to join this new legacy right here. I thought that Rhodes and Drew McIntyre would really do well together. Since Rhodes and Orton have the past, you know, and Ted DiBiase is no longer around, I think Drew McIntyre would do a lot better than DiBiase in this role, and I think that this would be a fantastic match. Everybody just contrasting back and forth, and I think I would probably have the heels win here just to continue some dominance and then probably at the pay-per-view after I would have the faces win and ultimately in the feud there but I think this would be a really cool match to see and you could probably have the heels lose by disqualification just to keep it going but I would love to see a matchup like this. My next matchup is a tag team turmoil match. We're throwing all the teams in the division here. An amazing tag team division I must say. We've got the Ascension who would actually be booked well on my show. The controversial Enzel and Cass. The New Day. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, definitely who I would think probably would win this matchup. American Alpha and the defending champions, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. My next matchup would be a United States Championship match between the champion Kurt Angle taking on Chris Benoit and Shinsuke Nakamura. The styles of all these three would be tremendous. All of these guys had a hard-hitting, ruthless style. And in their prime, Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit, obviously, this is what this whole draft is about. If you're going into it thinking this is their current state, that wouldn't make any sense because Benoit would be dead. So this is all, you know, in their prime. So Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit, Shinsuke all in the ring hitting hard. I would have Shinsuke win the United States Championship just because he needs a lot of momentum. The way he's been booked in WWE has been absolutely awesome awful so I put the title on him overcoming these two legends right here would definitely send him off the way he should be up next we've got the aerial assassin Will Ospreay challenging Tyler Bate for the United Kingdom Championship this matchup would be insane the aerial style of Ospreay up against the British strong style of Tyler Bate with the UK title on the line this could very well steal the show might even top Tyler Bate's matches with Pete Dunne oh my god we need to see this as for a winner, I think it would be Will Ospreay taking the title off Tyler Bate. Up next, guys, we have a triangle TLC match between the Usos, the Hardy Boys, and the Revival. I think this match would be absolutely insane. It would probably be match of the night, I'm sure, because all these threes are such hard workers. These teams go all like balls to the wall all the time. And obviously, you would have to give the World Tag Team Championships to Team Extreme because this is their stomping ground. This is what they do. They proved it at WrestleMania 33, and they'd prove it again at this WrestleMania. They would take it home, and I think this match would be full of a lot of spots, a lot of hard hits, and they would absolutely tear the house down. Next matchup, we got Triple H taking on two of his most successful NXT graduates, Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe, in a triple threat match. This matchup would be insane, and if we were booking this more long term, before this I would have had these three go on an insane run as a faction, almost like a new evolution, maybe even get a fourth member, someone like Pete Dunne, but a triple threat between these three would be insane. As for a winner, I think I've got to give it to Samoa Joe, he could probably use it the most out of these three men, all I know is I really want to see this match. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have probably the most entertaining Money in the Bank matchup of all time. We have loaded this thing up with athleticism and in-ring performance talent. We have Adam Cole, Shelton Benjamin, Neville, Dolph Ziggler, Chris Jericho, Sami Zayn, John Morrison, and Mr. H Extreme himself, Rob Van Dam. This, of course, would be for the MDT Money in the Bank briefcase. Um, all of these guys have the potential to be world champions, and I think that these guys would leave it all on the line. I would give these men like 45 minutes to an hour to literally just put their bodies on the line. Hella spot fest, just going back and forth. 
um, just near after near after near reach for the briefcase. And I would ultimately give it to my boy, Mr. Zebra Print himself, Dolph Ziggler, would capitalize on this opportunity and capture the money in the bank briefcase. For my next matchup, this is my David versus Goliath match. We've got the monster among men, Braun Strowman, going one-on-one -on -one with Daniel Bryan. This matchup would be insane, very back and forth. I'd have it look like Daniel Bryan was almost going to win, but of course, Strowman just squashed him like a bug right near the end. This match would be insane. This feud would be awesome. I definitely want to see this, even though we probably never will. But yeah, that is my matchup. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, I have Roman Reigns, the big dog, Vince McMahon star, his freaking baby right here, taking on Vince McMahon's worst enemy, his best creation of all time, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the GOAT, my unbiased opinion, the GOAT, absolutely, Stone Cold Steve Austin is an absolute man, the greatest performer in the history of WWE in professional wrestling, in my opinion, but this match would be incredible to see if Stone Cold's in his prime and you have Roman Reigns current day going head-to-head -head right here. This would put asses in seats for sure. You'd have probably the ultimate babyface in Stone Cold right here, and the pop would be huge, and I would definitely send the crowd home happy here with Stone Cold hitting about three or four stunners on Roman Reigns to put him away, and it would just be an absolutely... Fun thing to see. I think if you were there in the live crowd, it would be so electric, and this match would definitely sell well. For my next matchup, I have John Cena going one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Almost my main event, but I think I have a bigger match planned. I really hope this match does happen in real life at WrestleMania. I just gotta go with The Undertaker to win. Sorry, Trey. Ladies and gentlemen, my last matchup and my main event of the evening would be the cleaner Kenny Omega taking on Finn Balor and taking on Aleister Black. Triple threat match for the coveted MDT Championship. And honestly, this match would be so freaking tough to decide. I think I would have so many near falls. Maybe some run-ins from the Bucks. Maybe some run-ins from the club. You know, just or some Bullet Club members in this thing. Trying to choose Balor, Kenny, uh, Aleister Black. You know, his dark ties, his dark character is so iconic. And I think all three of these men would tear the house down. All the athleticism in this match would be incredible. And I think I would finish it off with maybe Finn Balor um, chilling in the corner. I'd have Aleister Black hit Kitty Omega with the black mask, and then I think uh, I'd have Finn Balor somehow throw Aleister out of the ring, hit Kenny with the uh, coup de gras, one, two, three, and your new MDT champion walking out of WrestleMania would be Finn Balor, and I would push the man the way he needs to be. I absolutely hate the way they treat him on WWE, and I hope to God we see this man either win the Rumble or have a strong WrestleMania-like push. For my last match, I've got a fatal four-way match for the World Heavyweight Championship. The defending champion, CM Punk, Shawn Michaels, AJ Styles, and Seth Rollins for the best competitors of all time. This match would blow the roof off the place. Without a doubt, my winner would be AJ Styles. But oh my god, imagine all the spots we could do. Having some of these guys in the same ring as each other would be insane. I, in fact, I don't think any of these guys have faced each other before. Oh my god, this match would be nuts. That is about going to do it for this draft. If you haven't already, which I don't know why you haven't, go and check out part one over on my channel. Big thanks to MDT for doing this video with me. Uh, thank you guys. Anybody here who subscribed to me already, thank you very much. If you want to, I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere or I'll be in the comments section. Make sure to check me out. Big thanks to Trey once again. And thank you guys so very much for having me. All right, guys, well, that is going to do it for the complete draft process. Again, 10,000 subscriber special for Undisputed Brotherhood. We have finished here. What do you think of the total draft? Do you think that I drafted better and he had the better card, or do you think vice versa? Who won this draft? We have to know. We have to crown an, a freaking WWE figure draft champion. It is up to you guys. I believe that TJ is going to leave a poll on, his, uh, on part one. There is a poll on there to go check that out, and I think I'm going to leave a poll on this one as well. Be sure to answer that poll. We have to know. Also, leave a like on this video, guys. Let's get 300 likes on this hoe. If you're checking this video out right now, and it's like 2019, and it has 500 likes, push it to 600. Push it to 700. Let's get this thing going. Definitely go check out part one if you haven't. Subscribe to Undisputed Brotherhood and myself for more epic AF WWE and WWE action figure videos, and we will see you guys in the next videos. Thank you so very much. Be sure to go and vote.